When we first found out that Andy's cancer wasn't in remission, it was a little bit like a scene from a film, you know, where everything goes into slow-mo and you kind of plunge back into almost freezing cold water, like it literally slowed down. And when we kind of came up gasping for air, one of the first things Andy said was, this is here for a reason and we have to do something with it. And he said, I want to make a story that supports anybody else going through this. And we have to do that. And he was adamant. You know, we always walk beside each other, Andy and I, as a, as a force and a collective. And with a clear purpose that everything you do is about growing and enabling other people to grow. And so there was never a question that we wouldn't share our journey on one way or another. It's what we've done so far, so why wouldn't we continue with that? Now, it, uh, it was, I was just going to say, it was actually me who questioned it at first. Yeah, <laughs> Sam, Sam really was very aware that putting ourselves up there, it was, you know, it was a bit like stripping yourself bare in front of an audience where you were going to be going through some very challenging times. So he... He questioned that. I was, I was a little bit nervous that, you know, going, and that's what I feel like is the magic of the movie, is the, is the honesty and the bravery of, of just, you know, sticking with it, you know, through the ups and downs all the way through uh, with a camera and, and, being, and, and, and being aware that this audience is on this journey with you every step of the way. What happened was um, I knew... Uh, after Vashti and Andy decided that they wanted to share their story to sort of help and inspire other people on their journey, with their journey, um, Sam contacted me and um, we knew each other because uh, I had actually been working on a project developing for his company about Dennis Hopper. And through that, I had lots of conversations about cancer and I was also directing segments for Stand Up to Cancer. Uh, their live television show. So um, Sam thought maybe it would be good to for me to meet Vashti and Andy um, and to speak about the possibility of making this documentary. So um, we, uh, in that very first phone conversation, not really knowing whether we would do it, we would not do it, sort of exploring the idea, um, I said to Andy, where are you from? Because I'm half English and, and he's English. And he said, well, I mean, I'm from this tiny little town on a tiny little island off of northern Wales and chances of your knowing it are pretty slim. And I said, try me. And basically it's the town my father grew up in. So I felt like th there was sort of a, I sort of, I was get a chill when I even tell that story because it's really unusual that I would know that town and for me, especially with um, his parents and uh, there was just always this kind of instant familiarity for me and so we all kind of felt like it was meant to be. So when we started on this journey together, we thought it was going to be nine months and this very happy ending with Andy beating it and um, that, that, that feeling, that spirit I think really was always present in the filming. Um, the, the power of Andy and Vashti to really believe in the success of what they were doing and that he would really heal really flowed to me even as the filmmaker. Um, you know we actually reached out to stars early on um, and they ended up uh, making a donation towards the uh, um, towards the film. Uh, my company put money in early on and was kind of funding it and then and then stars came in and then um, we talked about doing a, a crowdfunding and you know that it, we're in this new world. It, I mean crowdfunding has been around now for three years oh my god but, but but back then it was like this new thing and I don't know and maybe and you know it's a it's a big thing um, and then we started bringing together resources um, you know uh, we called the reporter that we knew really well from from uh, Deadline Hollywood and said you know would you like to have the exclusive and and she jumped in and we got Jai Courtney who was starting to to uh, you know, explode in his career, and he was really close to Andy, and so you know he worked with us on the Kickstarter campaign. And you know, as a producer, it's just important to to really take a step back and and look at you know 
all the things that that you need to bring together properly and you know and what are what are the resources that you have already like right under your fingertips and that's what that's what we did we were very efficient about it i think the fact that the show was a hit and we and we had some help from the press but i also feel like lilibet was you know a student of the game mm-hmm. and um she really studied all these successful uh campaigns and came up with a plan and said if we can have a press person and if we can do you know a trailer with with Jai and you know can we get these things done and and then and then we did we got those things done and you know the minute the deadline story went out it got picked up By everywhere yeah. but also the trailer that Lily but cut was incredibly inspiring because it was the first time that people had really seen Andy outside of his role as mm-hmm. this six pack sword yielding That's champion true. and to see somebody uh, allowing themselves to be so vulnerable and yet so strong was so hugely inspiring to an enormous fan base from the original show of Spartacus and to be invited into the family's journey on that I think it sparked something uh, very unique in, in terms of crowdfunding One of the incredibly unique things about this project and this movie from the very beginning to where we're sitting today is that everybody that's been involved in it has gone on their own cathartic journey through their involvement with it. You started this interview asking, you know, how Sam got involved as the producer. Sam was my husband's manager and incredible family friend. And his commitment to this project, even establishing the relationship with Lilibet next to me has been this incredible labor of love and commitment and um, what I wanted to say was the most challenging thing about filming this is about managing people's expectations and attitudes Mm -hmm. what is happy what is negative what is sad because what we all got from working on this project is it's very much about the destination and not the the end result and so whilst the outcome is not necessarily positive or happy it has been um, an incredible birth for a number of other things in terms of everybody else's development and I just wanted to say that it's really important to acknowledge that whilst it's not a happy ending it's a beautiful journey along the way. From the very beginning I really felt that Andy and Bhakti's story was a love story and I was very inspired by the movie Love Story, actually, when I first started thinking about this film. And also speaking to Andy, Andy it was very important to Andy that it be cinematic, that it be a film for the theatre and be beautiful and um, not, not, you know, feel like television, I guess, is the thought. So, and that's the kind of filmmaker that I am, so we were all kind of in sync with that. And I think the thing from the very beginning, the very first footage and the very beginning of filming, I saw that I thought the love story was the most interesting part of it. And through that love story, I think that's why the film is so inspiring.